In this video, I'm going to tell you about cascading filters. What is cascading filters and how this can be implemented in analytics designer. This is one of the requirement or many of you ask me how to implement cascading filters and there are uh, some scripting challenges as well means about this. And so I just wanted to show you this practically. So first of all, let's try to understand what is cascading. Cascading means uh, there is one drop down. Let's say we I have I have locations uh, which is displaying many. Uh, what are the locations which are available there? And then uh, if you select that uh, location, particular location, then it's respect to sales manager. So this is one of the uh, example I'm just taking where uh, I'm just wanted to just show you, you uh, the sales manager uh, based on the uh, location. If I can select this uh, sales manager, then this can be uh, displayed here. Now, uh, if I select some other uh, location as well, then it should display uh, or populate only those sales managers which are available here and that can be filtered out in this table. So this is one uh, example which I wanted to show you and uh, this is I'm going to show you step by step. So please watch this video till the end. The very first step is creating an analytic application which I have just selected one blank application here and I will be adding one table uh, at the first place uh, just to show you uh, show uh, uh, the different uh, options available uh, di different columns in the uh, table. So let's take one of the sample uh, model. Now, uh, when we take this uh, sample model, uh, we will just add a few of the dimensions uh, for that. So we wanted to have a location and sales manager. You can see uh, this uh, location and sales manager has been displayed and I have just taken uh, one measure, which is an example. Uh, so just uh, we'll give the uh, save this. I've just given one name for this uh, application. And now what I will do, the very first thing is uh, when I uh, I am adding this table here. Now this is uh, just a simple application. Just added one table. Now I wanted to add a two drop downs, so I will add a drop downs here. Uh, the first thing is uh, let's try to add a, a, a drop down, and uh, we will uh, rename it a drop down location name. So this is one name I am giving, and we will add one more text here as well, just to identify. I just added a, a one text box uh, which uh, shows uh, sh location and uh, its respective uh, drop down and i'm just adding another uh, drop down as well because we need two drop down so when i'm just doing this uh, so i just uh, added uh, this uh, text box with the um, drop downs and just a default value when i run this now uh, we'll not see any of the uh, values in this uh, two drop downs so because we haven't loaded anything in it. now we have created this two drop downs and when we uh, have this three two dro drop downs created uh, now we just have the all value as displayed and when i run this application we will not have any of the other values populated like uh, we will not have a california in the location drop down and sales manager values in the uh, sales manager drop down to populate this the first thing is we need to add some script which will load these uh, values in the drop downs at the first place so to do this go to the uh, canvas on in canvas on initialization script let's add some values in it so how to do this first of all when we run this application let's try to run this application First of all, when we run this application right now, uh, we do have all the values which are coming from the model in the table. When we run this, uh, we do have location values in this table and then sales manager. To, so first of all, we will get some values, where, uh, get from uh, values from the from the table. For this, uh, we will create one uh, loca uh, variable, let's say location dimension. So this is one variable we will create and uh, we will get the values from a table. So this is uh, the table which is we got. We will get the data source of it. Uh, this is functions we are just calling and we will select get members. Now if we, when we select this and if we press control space, now you will see what all the dimensions which are available there. So let's try to select this uh, dimension and uh, just select. This is the first uh, step we need to take. Uh, now, when we take this location dimension, uh, the first uh, value, so variable location dimension will uh, hold this value. Now, what we will do, we will iterate all these uh, values and we'll put it in the drop down one. For that, we'll just add a for loop and where we will say for loop i is equal to zero for i is less than uh, location dimension dot. Lin. 
because that is what we wanted to iterate and we'll just increment it by one by one now we do have a drop down of sales manager so try to add this drop down of uh, location name we do have a, lock, a drop down of location name and that's what means we need to add items in that so for that we do have one function which says add item because it is a one by one we will put uh, these values as id and then we will also add uh, as uh, location dimension of I dot description as well id plus description so that it will not just display that a uh, key value but uh, the display value as well in that so this is the first code which will uh, populate the drop down one which is uh, the sales manager let's try to run this uh, the first drop down is populated with all the uh, location names however the sales manager is still not populated because we haven't re written any code for it let's try to do that so this is similar code for that we just wanted to do it you can just copy paste so this is we will just name it as a variable another variable we will add and here uh, instead of location now uh, what we will do we will select the value of sales manager now uh, this sales manager we will just replace this with the sales manager dot location we'll just replace with the new variable which is got created here and uh, we will be adding the location uh, it's not location but it's a sales manager drop down now when we run this application we can see that both the drop downs are got populated you can see the first is populated and the sales manager is also populated now if i select some values it is not going to filter it out or not going to filter out this as well it doesn't affect anything here so to filter out this table based on this value and then again a cascading of this from this to this we need to write some script so let's try to do, do that so now uh, to write some script on this uh, on select so we need to select means what are the values or uh, what are the uh, event happens on this particular dro drop down then only we need to perform some action so that it will uh, change this uh, filter or condition and this also will populate this one so to do this go to functions edit scripts so there is on select function you can see uh, so whatever value it selects uh, we need to write some script so we will write that script now i added this uh, code which is what this code is doing at the first place is this is selecting the value which is selected in the drop down so locate drop down location name is our uh, uh, drop down which gets that selected value and that uh, and the second uh, drop down which is a sales manager uh, just removing all the items because that is not all needed right now uh, we will put it that later now uh, table one so whatever the table and it gets source we will just remove the sales manager filters because at the first place when we select any value uh, let's, uh, let me show you miss what does this mean so what this script will be doing we will be selecting any of the values out of this so when we select these values we wanted to remove this filter on this table so we don't want to keep this filter uh, applied on this table only thing whatever we are selecting it should show all the values here for that what we are doing uh, we are removing all the dimensions filter all the filters which are applied from the sales managers on this table and we are just set dimension filter which is location on location dimension and but we are passing uh, this select variable which is nothing but a whatever the selected value in the first drop down now what this does this will just keep all these things let me comment out this code for now so that i will show you means how this works at the first place now uh, this is something which is uh, got loaded and uh, if i select this now something values then it gets populated you can see this uh, table data is getting filtered out with the particular location and this is getting uh, blanked out because we haven't done anything on that because we are uh, when we select any of the values in this location uh, we are just removing uh, these uh, filters so this is what we are doing because uh, we haven't written any script right now on this so that we uh, we are just uh, doing it now the next thing is when we do this uh, selections this this line what this line will do uh, we'll get the data selections on the uh, whatever the data selections which is available on location so that will uh, be stored in this selections variable 
So whatever, whenever we select any of the values, what are the values which we are selecting here? What are the values which are selecting here? Uh, in this table, uh, all the sales managers which are coming. What are values we are selecting? So we are just getting that value here with the get data selections functions and we are just storing it uh, with the selections. Now what happens? Suppose we have five locations and out of this five location, what are the sales managers? So each each location has a different different sales managers. So it may be 20 uh, sales manager or it may be 50 sales managers or different different sales manager. We know uh, we don't know. For that, we are just getting all the values in the selections, all the locations, and we are just iterating uh, that selections or whatever the data it is there. And we are just trying to get these uh, values there. What are the sales manager? So we are iterating through selections dot length and then we are getting these values, all the sales manager values. So how we are getting this? So whenever we select any of the values here, so let's say California location is having so uh, these many uh, sales managers. So we are getting all the sales managers. You can see with the get result member from this table one, we are getting the uh, using the re get result member function and we are getting uh, miss getting the sales manager from that table and uh, that we are uh, putting into the members variable. So we are using this selections of i. Selections of i is nothing but all the values of that particular table. Now, when uh, what we are doing, we are adding an item, drop down dot underscore sales manager dot add item, member ID and member description. So whatever the values which are coming, what are the sales managers which are coming from these members? So that we are adding in this drop down. Now, when we save this and we'll, uh, when we run this, we can see that this is getting populated, the filters. You can see these filters are getting changed. Let's see, so this code is doing this functionality of uh, cascading. So basically, uh, what we are doing, we are applying a filter on location name to the table and from that table, whatever the sales manager which you are available, we are taking that sales managers from that table to a member and that member uh, variable, whatever the data it is holding, it will be passed or added in the sales manager drop down. That's how this uh, cascading works. Now what happens when the second drop down is selected? how it is now if I run this application if I run this application this location is getting filtered out but what are the filters which are I am applying here it is not getting uh, uh, applied here now you can see this is not so we wanted to have a sales manager as well uh, filter to be applied on this table now how to do that for that we wanted to go to uh, the second drop downs on select function so sales manager is the function which we wanted to uh, edit edit scripts and we will add one line of code for this which will just filter out which will just filter out the sales manager on the table now these two lines of code what does it takes so drop down manager sales manager value uh, drop down whatever the selected value it is just putting in the sales uh, cell uh, cell variable here and that cell variable we are applying set dimension filter on table so table one dot get source and data source set dimension filter sales managers this two statement or this one statement where he uh, is applying the filter on the selected value of the sales manager now let's try to run this now let's say uh, i'm selecting some values here and uh, i'm applying some filters you can see i'm getting this filter out like different different so if you can change some other as well i can see this uh, getting populated and i'm just uh, getting this sales manager filter out now this is what uh, is cascading filter and how it works there are some coding which is needed for this uh, having all as a default and for that I have done it. Now I have added uh, 
some of the coding just to display the all uh, when we select it uh, let, let me show you how it works so basically just to reset the values or uh, drop down values to, uh, to its all I mean suppose I have selected this value and then I have selected uh, some values as from the sales manager and if I select something uh, some of the location number here then it should show me all uh, as a default and uh, then it should uh, show all the sales managers data uh, for that particular location for this I have done some uh, scripting uh, it's a very basic things where uh, I have just uh, for um, for location name uh, scripting I have just added a uh, sales manager after removing all the items uh, so this is one uh, uh, item I have added as all and uh, uh, I have set it as selected as all so that it will just select uh, all and in uh, sales manager drop down that is second drop down I just added this uh, if condition where I'm just checking if it is not equal to all then uh, what are the value which is selected in the second drop down that should be filter out for that table otherwise it should remove the filter from uh, sales manager and should apply uh, the first drop down that is location name uh, filter out uh, so that is what uh, have done and this is very basic things uh, but this is very useful to understand the main basic thing is on initialization is uh, one thing where we are just populating uh, the drop downs with the uh, with this get members functions from uh, uh, the table and um, we are adding that to the uh, with the add item function on the uh, drop downs and then uh, the first drop down uh, we are doing this scripting which is uh, important where we are getting the values uh, first we are applying all the filter on the tables for that particular location and uh, here as a set dimension filter and then we are uh, getting that values in the selections variable and then uh, applying it to the uh, miss uh, to the uh, second drop down by getting into one variable uh, and just iterating through all the locations so this is important part which we need to understand because this is a get result member uh, will give all the uh, sales manager data so this is one i wanted to show you uh, in this uh, video i have put all this code in my github i have put the uh, github link uh, in the video description and the comment section as well so that it will be helpful for you to uh, understand this and uh, you can implement uh, this functionality on your own as well if you have any questions then please put it in comment section and if you like my video then please like it and subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching